Welcome to the Pitch Side Podcast. Today I'm with Kekana Squared. Welcome to the show, gents. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, it took be, you long. Eh? I'll, I'll be gracing you with my presence. Today. Busy with the makeup there. How long did it take? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's get straight into it, man. We've got to look back at the Richards Bay game. Um, before we even get to you, let me start uh, with Sinya Kekana. What was your overview and take out from the game? Well, the positives were, were there. Yes. Um, I think uh, you can always say the positives because you're talking about a team that continue to create chances in front of goals. Mm. And of course, there's lessons which I believe they know about them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you have to be ruthless in this game, and yeah. I think that should be a lesson to say: if the team is 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 there for your taking, mm. you should take those opportunities. And I believe uh, that match should be should be a big lesson for for for, for the team. Hundred percent, Kekanya Junior. Yeah, you know, um, I agree with uh, senior sentiments here. Yeah. Um, I think the one thing that we're trying to improve on, especially in our game, is you know when we have the team by the neck, you know we should. Make yeah. sure that we score and convert because we create a lot of chances. Mm. Yeah. So we don't want to leave the game hanging um, mm -mm. because the team will always feel like they stand a chance, yeah. especially with the one goal yeah. margin. Yeah. Yeah. So it's something that we're, we're working very hard on, um, you know, in terms of being ruthless, mm. especially in front of goal. You know, mm. um, we don't want to give teams any slight chance, you know, because yeah. anything can happen, especially, yeah. especially at one nil. It's the most the dangerous minutes, score. Yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah, so that's the the one part that we we took out from that game. Somebody would look at a game like what we played against uh, Golden Arrows, and then come back and we fail to score. I mean, we score one goal. Would they then come back and say we really have a scoring problem or mm -hmm. a striker problem because? Yeah of the injuries in the team, right? Yeah. Well, uh, for now, I don't think that is the case. The case yeah. is when you face these uh, fixtures back to back in a space of two mm. um, two days in, in between, mm. you're facing a team, teams that are, are down there where they make it difficult for yeah. you to even um, come up with a game plan. Yeah. Um, Grand will tell you uh, the match against Kaiser Chiefs yeah. is much easier when you play against Richards Bay, for yeah. instance, mm. because um, then the tactics are not the same. Yeah. Uh, there's you're playing a team that will will make sure that the the, the low block is actually on the D line there. Yeah. So it's it's difficult to play against such yeah. people because what they're looking for is to catch you on that one opportunity. Yeah. yeah. So they are hoping and they they, they know that they might get that opportunity. Yeah. So um, uh, we we used to say when I was still playing that. The, the games that will win us the league yes. was actually the, the difficult the ones, teams, yeah. which is the richest base, yeah. your, your golden arrows. If yeah. you score four against golden arrows, oh, you're lucky because yeah. that doesn't happen a, a, a lot. lot. If yeah. you look at the, our record from last year all the way from until five years ago, ago yeah. you'll see that the margins in, in the score line, yeah. that, that tells you how difficult these teams are. I'd like us to simplify something. We hear a lot of jargon, especially in football, when you're listening. And if you don't know, you really get lost in conversation. When we speak of low block, mm -hmm. how do you simply explain that to an ordinary person? I think you just say parking the bus, um, literally where the team doesn't leave the box. Yes. Sort of. So they create a block yes. in the box and make it difficult for you to sort of penetrate, especially down the middle because yeah. they're protecting their goals yeah. so a lot of teams have a low block and then they prefer maybe especially like sundowns we're not really a team that crosses yeah like that you know so they'd rather have us out wide yes to, and, and then they deal with the with yeah. the crosses you know so that's how i can summarize right. the low block well back coach in, well back <laughs> in the days we used to say uh, uh behind the ball yeah, yeah. everybody uh, behind yeah, the ball yeah that was uh the the plan behind the low block yes so it, it went to the details now where everybody else will say the starting point of defending mm. will be very deep okay so they know when it's very deep there's a, a small space behind the last line and the goalkeeper yes so that's where you want to score mm. so they make it difficult in making sure that they reinforce a lot of numbers in front of yes. that D line, yeah. so they, they so it doesn't you. allow you to play. In yeah, there. yeah. So that is how uh, teams try to 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 use this term low, low block. block. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for me, it doesn't. It, it's it's packing the bus. It's making sure that you're making that 
uh, 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 box very That's narrow small. and smaller and, and and making sure that you want the team to play outside yeah, yeah. and a lot of teams that they, they do that so you're the coach you're playing the game and the team has a low block how do you beat it well you you try by all by all means to to use the the the, the wide spaces yeah and by wide spaces i mean you can easily tell how they, they, they a lot of teams do. They 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 play, they pack the back. They make sure that the three midfielders are uh, as narrow as not even as far from the the last line of defense. Mm-hmm. So in that instance, of course, you can't play there. Yes. Because you'll be risking to to get dispossessed and the counter attack. Grand Vatro get my foot. So so by by all means, try to 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 bypass the the, the block. Yeah. And by using the, the wide areas and the wide channels and of course, then you need to practice how to to pass the ball while you are white. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, because the crosses won't, won't help. Yes. Uh, so another thing is try to play or to to have the goalkeeper ask goalkeepers questions. <laughs> yeah, I don't know with the tech- <laughs> yeah, <laughs> outside the box. yeah, ask ask him the questions mm-hmm. uh, because uh, a lot of a lot of um, teams that I, I saw a match against Sol- uh, Solos in mm-hmm. uh, in the MTN eight. A match against arrows. There's space in front of the box now and again. I think Debs, I need, I need to send him some <laughs> some <laughs> notes. Beautiful love letter to say, this is the time where yeah. you take the shot. Yeah. yeah. But I also to to add on what uh, Senior is saying here. Yeah. Um, also moving the ball, Quicker. rotating it yes. around. Yeah. So that you get the team to sort of shift. And yeah. then That's where you try find the spaces in between. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So that also helps to our advantage because we are passing team. Yeah. You know, mm. so moving and rotating the ball quicker also helps break down um, a low block. Yeah. yeah. I've seen we've got a, a big number of injuries. Are you ready to play up front? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you got one off <laughs> the yeah. head. Yeah. I mean, we can put you there oh. as a nine. <laughs> Ruben Nudala <Nujala, laughs> Center, right back. <laughs> right, back center right back, center back. Now. Sandra, what are you going to do? Hey, listen. Yeah. It's too much quality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. My no, job, we've got injuries. Yeah. My job is to win the ball and give it to the next better player. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm done. Then so, that's what I'm going to do. House. No, I'll go up for corner, set piece, Ooh. I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but that to be sense. there, no, because um, in all honesty, it's also demanding. Yes. Um, because mm. we defend from the front, you know, we press teams high yes. up, mm. you know, so it's very taxing. No. And it's going to go. <laughs> I'm just anticipating. <laughs> the 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 yeah, I'm and it's great when you play You play the position that is not yours. Yes. You overcompensate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's certain things that you, know, you shouldn't have to do with them. Yeah. But because you <laughs> feel like that, you will do them. You just and then the please. energy, you better yeah. energy the yeah. next thing you're tired. Yeah. yeah. No, I get it. No, I okay. get it. So we've had a, a couple of days off, three days off uh feeling refreshed yeah no definitely i think it was a much needed break you mm. know um we're playing every two three days mm. um so sometimes it's good just to forget about the green grass for a bit mm. you know see family mm. be with the little ones um you know because we also away from them for yeah. some time so any little break that we get you know we try use it as wisely as possible yeah. you know and spend enough time with our families so it was a, a good break um i think everyone is motivated to go again yeah. Last season at this point in time after five games we had ten points on the scoreboard. We have now fifteen points, which is five points more than the season before. Mm-hmm. What does this mean for our long term goals as a team? No, I think the one thing with our team is to always keep improving. Mm-hmm. So we always analyze our previous games on the day that we're gonna play, you know. Mm-hmm. So we're just building on improving ourselves each and every season and we could be proud of the start we have, but we know this is a marathon. Yeah. Um, there's over 60 games that we're going to have to play, you know. Um, so these are the, we give ourselves small claps, but we don't get too excited because we know um, there's a long journey yeah. um, mm. that's to come. And if we really want to get what we wished for this season, yeah. um, we need to put our feet firmly on the ground and yeah. just continue grinding. 100%. It's a mm. typical one for them because <laughs> every match they win, yes. it extends the, f- the, the calendar. Yes. Mm. So it added to a lot of games, a lot yeah. of games. So I think with this break for them, it's it's, it's actually it's a privilege mm. because... But beside extending the calendar, the red dot then becomes bigger because now everybody is after you. Because yeah. now uh, I was reading a stat somewhere else that we, I think, were 29 unbeaten games in mm. the league yeah, yeah. Uh, and counting. Yeah. Sure. No, we're the hunted. Um, 
Well, definitely the hunted coach always emphasizes that. Mm. But we understand uh, it's the responsibility that's been given to us. Um, we can't shy away from it. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, I was to always try set the bar as high as possible, um, so teams can catch up to us. You know, so that's part of it's part of being Mummy Lodi Sundowns. Mm. Yeah. Well, I think I think to add on what you say, I had a privilege of being on the both sides of, of of the teams where. Yeah. At one stage, I was fighting for relegation. Mm. It's a nice stress. It's not a nice stress at the same time. Yeah, yeah. But then when you're fighting for the leagues and the, the cups, the stress gets yeah. even bigger. Yeah, so yeah. You, you tend to appreciate the stress of fighting for silverware mm. than, than the stress of fighting for relegation because the stresses are not the same. Yeah, yeah. 100%. I, I can easily say this is a privileged one. I yeah. love to play. But tell me, coming from f a team fighting for relegation and a team fighting for silverware, yeah. how does the mentality change? The mentality change because when you are in a team that fight for the silverware, you you know the bigger prize. You yes. know what it feels to win football matches. And because you've never won, you didn't win one match, you won three, four, five in a row. Yeah. That gives you um, a, a, a small a uh, 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 margin of making those errors. Yeah. It means there's no room for yeah. errors as a team. Yeah. So you have shown us uh, what you can do. Yeah. It means you must stay there. Yeah. Where else when you're fighting for relegation, there's a lot of areas where you can easily you know, play for. 100%. You know, there's teams that we, we're looking at whoever drops points and, 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 and in a bigger team we don't look at whoever no. competing with you no. the, the stress on what you can control yeah, yeah. so yeah. It's, uh, it's I, I don't like the stress of fighting <laughs> <laughs> I asked the senior because yeah. um, previously we got Modal from Black Leopards that was uh, relegated mm -hmm. we just got Nku who comes from Kalans who was relegated so the main thing is now the shift in mentality to mm -hmm. think like a winner mm. rather than fighting for 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 relegation mm. how it then affects you in the new team dynamic because you're coming into a team where uh, uh kekana here has won the dstv the season yeah. before yeah. how do i then get that hunger to want to win it in the next season i think also the nice thing with sundowns or well, the players or well, everyone here the family yeah. um is how they welcome mm. new players in, in the, to the, in the system group. yeah you know? um Yeah, yeah. Fine, yeah. I might have played with a few in my previous team, yeah. but they make it their mission for you to understand the goals and what's expected mm. of you at Mami Lodi Sundown. Yeah. So when you come here, your mentality all of a sudden changes because here we we work on winning. Yes. Yeah. Um, ours is to win games yeah. and it's to try win them playing as beautiful as possible. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the first priority is to understand that we need to win games. Um, mm. And like Slompo says, there's little room for error, yeah. Um, especially for a big team like this, because you know one mistake, then they score, then it's then they, there's a next player who's mm. waiting, just as good, you know, yeah. who's just mm. waiting on on the sideline. So the margin of error becomes even smaller, mm. you know. Um, so yeah, amazing. I once uh, heard a quote from Benny McCarthy, where he spoke about the difference in the teams in in the EPL. Mm. Uh, so it says to you, Man United, Chelsea. Arsenal are all fighting for the trophies then the rest of you are fighting to stay up mm. because there's nothing else yeah. now you also find yourself now in a situation where there's a next group which is the ones that are fighting off the bottom to say mm. look we need to stay in this league because this is where it makes sense for us financially mm. yeah. as players it's also a nice place for other teams to be able to see you and you can see where the next move goes mm. to mm. well it is Actually, we sum up so well when he says at the at the team like the team that I played for Black yeah. Leopards, where you you stressing about accumulating enough points to stay in the league. Yeah, right. and yeah. when you do well in a cup match, oh, that you should you should cherish that mo mo those moments because yes. they might not come again. Yeah. Yes. So I think uh, with a bigger team, it doesn't work like that. Yeah. Because then you expected to win. Yeah. and uh, every match that you take place. I, um, I, I remember an interview, sorry, with a player for my own name, which team and player, yeah. but he was complaining, <laughs> 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 yeah, like, well, bananas uh, are important. <laughs> well, they, they are important in their, in their, in their, in their football, yeah. in this life, because yeah. where, for Bona, yo, they, they burn a lot of uh, <laughs> calories. calories yeah, yeah. No, they work hard, these people. Because remember when they, they, you guys used to, there's a magic you, you came from, 
Algeria, Africa. you came straight to, yeah. to the to the to the camp. To, to camp. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That for me tells you how amount of you know work that is yeah. Yeah. put in. And of course we can't talk about that. Yeah. Because they will ask you, why are you complaining about yeah. your job? Your job. job. Yeah. Yeah. But if you look at it as a normal person, that can't be normal. No, mm. it can't. No, can't be. You have to have at least a break in between to come and, you know, tackle the next match yeah. With yeah, yeah. you know, as you say you said we, you need to refresh all the yeah. time. But this is the, the color that I was talking about. Yeah. It stretches every time you, you win a football match. Yeah. No, I get it. I remember even, I mean, a few years pre-COVID, you guys would land from somewhere and come <laughs> here and train here at 10 at night. Yeah. In the so AMs. The, in the AMs, yeah. just to, you know, keep this thing going and regenerate. So, amazing stuff. Uh, talking about the next game, Pulukwane. Um, another challenge, a team that uh, has lost a couple of games, but they are hungry. I watched their game this past weekend, Arrows. playing very well against Arrows. Mm -hmm. um, they, of course, it's the, the, you know it's you've moved up a league, mm. but they're still making some mistakes, which you could say are mistakes from lower leagues. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, when they come up against Sundowns, the so mentality changes. Yeah. yeah, no, they they're going to be intrinsically yes. motivated. Washa, so <laughs> What did you say? Yeah. Intrinsically. We Google it. I It's a very interesting team. Yeah. Um, I think they have, the one thing they have is the never say die attitude. Because mm. um, I was that. watching the, the Arrows game, mm. you know, they were 3 1 down, but yeah. second half they kept pushing, yeah. pushing yeah. until yeah. the last minute. They were actually unfortunate yeah. Um, yeah, not to have equalized, equalized yeah. you know. So they have that in them. Um, and obviously they're playing sundown, so they're going to be motivated. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's going to be another tough encounter, one that we'll prepare for, um, one that we're ready for. And yeah, we just try and improve on our previous games yes um yeah and just keep the standard as high as possible yeah uh also now it involves what training on the day traveling on the day w uh, the break was good for us but what does it do to the body going into that game i think a lot of our bodies now are kind of refreshed um you know even when we had the hectic schedule you know we're doing good recovery yes um, um sessions um so even today after the training we did recovery sessions which is good for the body just mm. to keep it at that same level you know yeah. we, we don't want to go have a two three day break and then come back flat yeah and then it shows on the field type of thing so i think the th the small things that they've added this season for us is actually playing to our advantage where each and every game um we're able to sort of show peak performance yeah. um so yeah i think uh, we're fine nobody's complaining yeah. about everything anything um and a lot of the players that were injured are slowly coming back yeah which is another positive for us. So are we motivated? Yeah, yeah I think it's gonna be a, a very good uh, okay. you know, exercise mm -hmm. for, for, for the new guys that has just joined the team to know that the team travels. For mm -hmm. mm -hmm. PE, Devon, now Apollo. So soon you'll be traveling Africa. Algeria, <laughs> Congo, you know, there's there <laughs> a kind of, so it's yeah. a preparation. Yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah. what's about the mind is Ibana, is mm. It's like a reference in every yeah, yeah, yeah. So once you, pre you prepare like this, it's going to be easier, easier to yeah. take it when, when the, the hectic schedule comes. Yeah. So I think this is a good preparation. Yeah, because the hectic schedule is coming. There's uh, even domestically the cups. Ah, sure. And also, uh, like everybody says on, on the internet, I'm not saying this is facts, but as the talk goes that we play Champions League, we don't play PSL football, so... But I shall let you share it, like... We're not going to play. Masanda, I want to thank you very much for subscribing. If you have not subscribed right now, click on the button right now. I've got some comments from you guys. Uh, Talente Fezile 8789 says, Always love you guys. Your professionalism is on the highest level. Sfiso Mavuso, pitch side, I love your energy. And I love your coach Rulani. Lots of love from Guamashu. Panse Teguini. Soli says, I'm a chief supporter, but I look up to Mamilori Sundowns, the nice. way they play, their supporters, and everything about Sundowns. Big ups. So shout out to you guys, man. Keep posting your comments. We'll keep on reading them out to you guys and invite your friends to subscribe. Also, to stand a chance of winning this beautiful kit, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. right here, right here. Um, all you gotta do is go into the comments right now and start letting us know who has scored for the team so far this season.
Very simple, huh? Yeah. Very simple. There, yeah, he's given you a clue already. <laughs> so come on, give us your comments, yeah. Masanda Wana. We want to know if you know this one, and we could be sending you a jersey. Pitchside Podcast. We out.